Okay, with everything installed, we should have our capacitive sensor on our printer at roughly the same height on the bottom as the heater block because this sensor requires that it must be within 10 millimeters of the surface that it detects and that's a good starting point having it right about there because usually our extruder tip will not be greater than 10 millimeters um, the firmware is set up with some default settings that I'm providing for you the Z offset that I have in the firmware is at 100 microns or 0.1 millimeters just because that's about where you want the, the nozzle to sit above the print bed so that's and it has to be a lower value zero was not acceptable so you can leave that setting the setting that we're concerned with is the X and Y offset for the sensor versus the extruder nozzle and that is the distance between this and this in both the x-axis side to side and the y-axis back and forth before I had you take a sheet of paper and put a circle face a circle based on the size of this sensor and then also put a dot in the center of that sensor what we're going to do is clip that piece of paper to the print bed. Now, I have the paper clipped down to the print bed. This is going to serve as a guide, allow us to take some measurements relatively easy. So what we'll do is we'll do a quick home. In this case, um, I'm actually going to watch the Z-axis. I'm not even going to let it get too close. Once it starts getting close, I'm actually going to just manually put my hand near the sensor to stop it. Just in case it does not stop because of the paper. And that's close enough. What we're going to do, we're going to move I'm going to move the axis. And what we want to do is actually get the nozzle right above the dot in the middle of the circle. Start with the y-axis. pretty close to being in line with the dot and now we'll, we'll move the x-axis to the left go back to the main screen and find out my values so my values are 157 and 113 for my extruder 157 and 113 sensor we'll get those values next move the sensor directly into the circle and move the Y values we are left with now are 186 and 132 and this will this will actually create our 
offset difference. So the difference here is 29 on the X. That's the offset. And we're looking at 19. Y offset. These are actually the default values that are in the firmware and they're important. If you're close, if you did 30 and 20, you'd still be fine. Okay, with the values that we were able to get from the printer using our sheet of paper, um, we want to open up the Arduino IDE and go to um, our firmware on line approximately 408, depending on, the, on if you made any modifications to the firmware. You want to find X probe offset from extruder and Y probe offset from extruder. Um, we'll enter the values there. The difference between the nozzle tip and the sensor in the X axis was 29 and in the Y axis it was 19. Um, we'll enter these as negative values based on the probe being on the left and in front of the extruder tip. If for some reason you placed your sensor in a different location, you would want to, or to the right or behind, you want to make the adjustments, you know, by entering a positive value. The positive value would not require a plus sign, just a normal value. Um, with this, you want to save your firmware and then upload it, verify and upload to the Arduino so that the settings take effect. We'll go back to the printer now and we'll do some adjustments, adjustments for calibration. Now that our firmware has been updated <clears throat> to reflect the appropriate X and Y uh, probe offsets from, from the extruder tip, uh, we have course adjustments using these two, the two nuts that secure the sensor to the um, extruder carriage will make a fine adjustment using the potentiometer right here. And you'll see it's just a small screw and you'll need a precision size screwdriver to make that adjustment. Okay, um, I reached my preheated PLA temperature of 200 degrees so now what I want to do is because this is just above the print bed where I can move it without any friction I'm going to turn this to the left until I can get in there until the light comes on you don't want to push down on this you want to support the weight of your screwdriver okay so right there where there's left and right. I'm just gonna take the screwdriver and just put a little upward pressure on the bottom of the print on the bottom of the print bed. As you can see here, just a slight amount of pressure and the light goes off. And with that pressure, I am actually getting just a little bit of friction on the paper at the same time. So it tells me that is about correct. Just to fine tune a little more, I'll go just slightly see how far I can go to the right before it turns off. A blink, which tells me I'm very close there. Try not to burn yourself. Okay. Now we're there. Well, I'll do an auto home. Slight amount of friction and 
I am very satisfied with that offset. And that's what you're looking for. And with doing that, you have your hot end or your um your Z end stop set and you will be able to do auto bed leveling. And that will complete your printer. The only thing left to do is um put some filament in and get some STL files or some G code and start printing off your stuff. One more thing to add. Depending on what type of material you're using to adhere your prints to the print bed, like if you're using um, the purple disappearing glue, use a thin layer of it for one because um, that sensor will detect any material between it and the print surface. If you have big gobs of this in some areas where it probes it will detect the distance based and include the glue as a factor. One, use a, so use a, thick, a thin layer. Two, before you start your print make sure that the glue is no longer purple. Let it become um, transparent so that you know it's less likely to impact the probe readings. Another point based on auto bed leveling and this using a safe Z homing setting move this clip off to the side some to give a direct path once you get the once you go to home on X and home on Y the print head is going to be here it's going to make a direct line towards the middle of the bed so if you have this locked in here it's going it, it'll likely um come up go across the clip so if you leave the clip off to the side some and don't worry the glass itself is what makes this flat um not the aluminum underneath if you have any questions uh feel free to leave a comment um that's the best way to do it in case someone else has the same question then they can benefit from the response as well Thanks for watching. I hope you've enjoyed and good luck with your 3D printing. Print all day.